four unit apartment buildings. That's my favorite type of investment because of the financing. Let's talk about the one behind me today. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where you guys work with us one-on-one. -on -one. What you do, you send an email to sales at holtonwise.com, you give us your number, we call you. We talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, what you're trying to accomplish, what your risk tolerance is, how much cash you have, what your credit profile looks like. We put you in touch with lenders and we fit you with the, the best type of real estate we think works for you specifically, right? I've always told people I don't think there are good deals or, or rather, let me say this. I've always told people I don't think there are good properties or bad properties, but there are good deals and bad deals. You see, any property can be a good or a bad deal based upon how you buy it, when you buy it, and if the right person buys it, and most importantly, the price you buy it for, okay? So... This property right here, this is a quad. And I've actually sent this to a couple investors, right? Somebody sent this to me, and uh, they were interested, decided not to do the deal. Another investor didn't want to do the deal, which, you know, hey, that's great. In my opinion, I thought it worked for them, but they were not thinking it did. So that's totally cool with me. What I want to do with you guys is I take everything you guys give me and I try to deliver a property I think best fits your needs. But ultimately, it's your portfolio. It's your money. I am not here to twist your arm into doing a deal you are not comfortable with. I would never want to see you guys do a deal you're not comfortable with. Personally, I think people should be jumping on quads because of the financing, right? Here's the deal, guys. Financing is the number one reason you should be investing in real estate, okay? You can't open up another business and get 30-year low-interest, fixed-interest financing. It just doesn't happen that way, okay? The one problem, the one negative to this financing is it only works for residential properties. And to fall under the category of residential property, you have to have one to four residential units under one roof, right? Four being the biggest, okay? So this is a four unit. So if you had a five unit apartment building, you don't get that quality financing. And I guess another negative is you can only get 10 of these types of mortgages, right? You only get 10 of them, okay? So if you could only get 10 of these beautiful 30 year residential uh, mortgages, what do you want to do with that 10? Do you want to get 10 rental income checks or do you want to get 40 rental income checks? In my opinion, you want to get 40. That's why I like this deal. That's why I've sent this off a couple times. Uh, those investors did not think the deal made sense, but AHS Consulting, I think you guys are the right investors for this one as well because you guys throughout our time working together have often told me you want to target triplexes and quads in the cleveland market and we have a very limited supply of those so whenever i get one i'm thinking hey you know what i'm thinking of several investors in my rolodex that want them because a lot of people want them because a lot of people agree with me on the whole financing thing 40 rent checks better than 10 in most people's eyes right you guys happen to be some of those people so what i want you to see now is my original financial analysis 44 04 Bush Avenue, listed a little over a month ago. It was under contract, then it fell out, right? It's a four-unit apartment building. Now, they have the rent roll listed on the screen for us, 530400 545 496 One of these tenants has just moved out, okay? I believe it's uh, either this, this one at 400 or this one at 496 very possible though it could be the one at 530. I'm like 99% sure it's not the one at 545, right? Because they said it was one of the older long-term tenants. The listing agent wasn't exactly clear on which tenant moved out, but we know we have one vacancy, okay? So we're going to need to do a turnover renovation, and then based upon the photos, I saw a couple other things we're going to need to do. Uh, but we're not going to have too too much time to to think about this deal this one is gonna move quick man because 125k for a duplex in this neighborhood that's a that's a great price right we have updated electrical there but we have some panels here and here that are going to need to be addressed all right so half of the electrical is upgraded half of it's not 
Got a couple of the units, then you got some hot water tanks. They all look to be, you know, mid to newer, right? Maybe one was kind of old. Uh, but other than that, nothing major, okay? So we have the electrical issue, and we have one of the four units is going to be totally vacant when you get it. So what I think we need to do, guys, is I think you guys need to jump on this at 125. You're probably going to end up in a bidding war, to be honest with you. So 125, and then I've calculated $12,000 of repairs. Now, that $12,000 is going to be 10000 allocated toward one of the empty units. We're not 100% clear on which unit is empty at this time, and we don't have any photos other than, like, that random bathroom, right? Uh, so we have some unknowns, but that's the thing when you find a deal like this, guys. You guys did a very good job. You found a very good deal. Uh, we can't just go back and ask the listing agent a million questions, right? We're going to need to make our offer full price, and we're going to need to make it contingent on home inspection. And we'll be able to, you know, put together some details once we get further in the due diligence process. But what we need to do now, what you guys' job is right now, is to get this sucker under contract, because that's a hell of a deal, right? So I'm anticipating you'll be all into this deal for 137 but... Long term, what's that going to look like? It's going to look like $2,300 a month in rent, $27,600 a year, right? Because each of these one-bedroom units is really a $575 unit. Now, back to this on the screen, all right? You see here, they're, they're old rent roll. Three of these four are still going to be there when you acquire it. $496, $500, 400 530 To my understanding, the $400 tenant... And the $496 tenant, those were tenants that were there for, like, at least five to ten years, okay? One of them, I'm pretty sure, is gone. But you got to understand, like, some of these super low rents, what you get, you get a lot of mom-and-pop landlords that they'll put tenants in there many years ago. And because the tenants don't cause them any issues, they just leave their rent as it is. Now, I'm not saying that's the worst business decision, right? My goal is always to keep butts in the units. But that said, $400, I wouldn't want you to do due diligence on this building, assuming you're renting $400 units because you're not. Because you're renting $575 units, right? So when this thing is fully cooking, fully bringing in that money, guys, $2,300 a month comes in. I anticipate you spending almost twelve, dollars leaving you with an average performance anticipation of eleven dollars on a $137,000 investment. That's a 9.7 cap and a 19.8% cash on cash return when you finance it. And remember, guys, when you finance it and you're trying to calculate your cash on cash returns, you take your NOI minus your mortgage costs, right? Your net cash flow after mortgage, which in this case is expected to perform at around 8,500 a year. You divide that by your upfront costs, which in this case was our $31,250 down payment plus that $12,000 in renovations, which in this case is, remember, me allocating $10,000 towards that vacant unit because I don't have any information on that vacant unit. So I'm going to base that on assuming we need to just go and do everything. Paint, walls, floors, kitchen, bath to get that thing Section 8 ready, bringing in that 575 And then I've allocated an extra $2,000 because I saw a couple beautiful, pretty, upgraded electric panels. But then I saw some ugly old duds, right? So I think those are going to need to be addressed, guys. So... 20% cash on cash return is, is very close to what this thing's going to kick off. I love the neighborhood. You two did a great job of picking out this property. Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. This is on the west side of town. This is a neighborhood that I anticipate is going to see some positive uh, growth and positive direction after, you know, it receives all of the uh, benefit and reaction of that $1 billion investment that Metro Health is committed to putting into that neighborhood. More information on that is in the show notes below. All right, guys, let me know what you're thinking. Do you guys want to move forward with this deal or do you want to move on to other ones? Just send me an email, reply to the, the uh, private email I sent you letting me know what you want to do. If you want to do the deal, great. If not, just give me some feedback so I can refocus things and find something that will better fit your needs on your next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.